We've seen plenty of dome cities in sci-fi movies and TV shows. But did you know a real dome city was almost built here in Minnesota decades ago? The Minnesota Experimental City is the brainchild of Athelstan Spillhaus, Dean of the Institute of Technology at the University of Minnesota. He's a mighty intellect, a futurist, and I can assure you he's a most unusual person. You would have to be a most unusual person, right, to come up with the idea of an experimental city. This is a new documentary about that attempt to build a futuristic city in the north woods of Minnesota. Joining us now, we have the producer and director of the documentary, Chad Frederick. Say good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. Tell us a little bit about how you got interested, or how did you even find out about the experimental city? So I was researching a topic called retrofuturism. So this is the idea of what people in the past used to think the future would look like. So oh. like, think of Jetsons, George yep. Jetson. Sure you know, dome cities, li living in the sky, etc. Um, and so in the process of researching that, I came across a comic called Our New Age. And this uh, comic was written by a guy named Athelstan Spielhaus. And it was all about what the future would look like, um, the, the science and technology of the day was going to lead to this awesome future. But Spielhaus was also involved in this thing called the Minnesota Experimental City, I quickly found out. And I was like, what, what, in, what on earth is that? I'm originally from Minnesota. Um, and uh, the idea of a, an experimental city, I had no idea what that meant, um, but as I began to research more and more about the topic, um, I saw that, wow, this is a huge, uh, in terms of scope, in terms of budget, in terms of the people involved, this was a massive project, one, perhaps one of the biggest uh, in Minnesota history. It so was I close to happening, that. right? In, in the late 60s, Minnesota got about a quarter million dollar federal grant, and then businesses chipped in, what, another uh, almost three quarters of a million? It was almost a million dollar budget to build yes. this thing in the 60s to build this thing on 169 where where was it going to be about three hours north of the uh, Twin Cities, so right? uh, Swatera there's Swatera, a Swatera yeah yeah there's wow. Aiken County so actually the million dollars was just for preliminary research just for research oh yeah this. the thing would have cost 10 billion dollars sure. in the 1960s wow. yeah yeah I mean this was going to be I mean it wasn't just the dome it was going to have all sorts of future futuristic aspects to it it was going to have um, a dual mode transportation system it was going to have a proto internet um, so you know yeah. people would communicate over uh, their computers it was going to have all sorts of uh, things to like help alleviate problems that existed in the cities at the time. So crazy. So why didn't it ever actually happen? Well, there were protests. Um, so it's, it's actually uh, quite complicated, and our film goes into it uh, pretty yeah. deeply. Um, mm -hmm. But there were protests both on an environmental front as oh, well as sure. uh, people in Aiken County who weren't interested in having a city dropped on them, you know. Like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you can understand. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's great fishing up there, and, you know, you got great wildlife, and so probably the last thing they wanted was a, uh, a city. Yeah. Coming to their they wanted the, the city of the present, not yeah. the city of the future up there. Exactly. Tell us where people can see your documentary here. So we're screening it at the St. Anthony Main Theater uh, for the next week. Um, tonight is our opening night, so of course that's the big kind of premiere night. Yeah. Very excited for it. Um, but then we'll, it'll be screening at St. Anthony for uh, the next week uh, down in Minneapolis, so people can check it out. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on the documentary. It looks fascinating. It looks so cool just yeah. to think that this could have happened. And it is uh, very interesting to think see how they used to think the future would look like. Yes, yeah. it doesn't always turn out the way we think sure it would. Sure does. Yeah. No, that is true. <laughs> Chad, thank you. Thank you. We